Hi everyone, Paul Akers. So I got a question the other day on Fast Edge. Uh, someone bought some cabinets from IKEA and they would like to edge band over the existing edge band. They want to change the color. Let's say you have a maple interior, you have black doors, you want the front edge to be black. Can you go over the existing edge banding or should you pull it off? In my opinion, you should go right over the top of it. Don't pull it off, you'll get a lumpy bumpiness from the automatic edge bander. When you pull that off, it won't be a good surface to go to. But you need to do a couple things to make sure it comes out right. So number one, a little bit of alcohol on a rag and we're putting it on the edge here just to take off any wax, grease, grime, or anything like that so it's clean and we're not trying to adhere to anything dirty, particularly if it's a cabinet that's been installed for a while. That's step one. The next step that I recommend is sanding this. Now, you always need to test this before you do anything. Don't do anything, just carte blanche, test it, make sure it works. Now, I took a piece of our fast break sandpaper, 80 grit, you can take any 80 grit sandpaper, put it on a flat block of wood. Now, the critical thing is when you sand here, you cannot roll the edges. If you look at this edge, it's got a slight little roll to it already from the automatic edge bander. A little bit radius, that's not a good thing because our edge banding can't roll over that edge. It might work, we're gonna test it, we're gonna see what happens. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna take my sand block like this and I'm just scratching the surface, making sure not to distort the edge by rolling it. It's so important you do not roll the edge. Everything flat, crisp, and clean, and that's it. Then I'm gonna take that same rag, denatured alcohol, and I'm just gonna take off the debris. What I've done is allowed some teeth for our adhesive to bite into now. So there you go, that's done. I don't like the rolled edge, but we'll see how it works. Then I've got my piece of new fast edge right here. I'm gonna peel it off, and I've cut it pretty close to length. It's a little over right now, and I'm gonna lay it on there like that. Okay, so this is uh, Folkstone Gray right here. Look at, I, I missed it right there, so I'm gonna relift it back up, and pull it nice and straight. That's the nice thing about Fast Edge, you can do that with it. First thing I'm gonna do is roll it lightly, just a little bit with our speed roller, metal wheels. Then I'm gonna trim it right here. So I take the flush cut trimmers and trim the edge just like that. Trim both sides, it does a really nice job. It's really fast and really easy. If you don't get it perfect, you can come right back and trim it again. You can just nip it up really nice. It's really kind of a cool tool. We'll look at this one, yeah, it looks pretty good. I might be able to go just a little bit more. No, it looks like I'm, I'm there. It looks like I got it pretty much all the way. Now we're gonna roll it really hard. This is the important part. And the reason why you wanna roll so much is we're using 5.5 mils of acrylic adhesive. It's a big ice cream cake of adhesive. And we don't want it just setting on there. We want it to be pushed down into the grain. In this case, we created the grain by sanding it with 80 grit, okay? So we're just really rubbing it really good, particularly focusing on the two ends because that's the most susceptible area. Okay, so I've got it rolled on there really well. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our Quad Trimmer Pro right here. You can use the blue one or the red one, it doesn't matter. You always start the blades behind. You start behind right there. You never start the blade right there behind just like this. So when it cuts, it doesn't damage anything. So I'm gonna put it back together and I'll do that demo behind. Squeezing very tightly, and you can see that trimmed it off really, really nicely right there. So now, we're gonna look at this edge very carefully, and you'll see the rolled edge. You can see a little bit of a lip there. It's not much. That's what I don't like, but I think it's absolutely acceptable, and I don't think it's gonna be a problem. If you wanna ease our edge, like the automatic edge banner, you can use our fast break tool. Once or twice, back and forth, we'll break the edge. If you go three or four times back and forth, it will roll the edge a little bit more. It just depends upon the look that you want. I like it rolled a little more, so sometimes I like to go back and forth three or four times. You just have to decide what look you're looking for. So there it is. Now, we've just put that on, and I wanna peel it off though, because I wanna show you how it sticks so you can see. If you do it this way, you should not have any problem. Don't miss any of those steps. But now let's go ahead and do a peel test and just see what happened here. Looks like it's sticking really well and it should stick more as it's on there, but the harder you roll, the better it's gonna be. Okay? It can't pull up any debris like on wood because it's sticking to a hard piece of plastic. 
but you should get good adhesion if you do it that way. There's the demo.